What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the Premium Aquatics Refractometer with LED light. What's going on guys, it's Jeff and I'm back with another video and if you are new to Premium Aquatics, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Premium Aquatics Refractometer with LED light. So let's jump into it. All right folks, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Premium Aquatics Refractometer. Now this one is actually a little bit different than some of the other ones that we've looked in the past. Uh, one, it is a actual Premium Aquatics branded item. And this one is unique in the sense that it doesn't need light to be able to read this refractometer. It actually has an LED that is installed in it. So this is a pretty neat take on a item that's been around for a while. So you can see here that the uh, packaging is pretty colorful. It has the uh, Premium Aquatics branding on there and it kind of goes over some of the uh, accessories that you can find within the case. You're going to get a cleaning cloth, a pipette, a screwdriver to calibrate your refractometer and a hard plastic case as well as uh, the manual. It also comes with uh, this um, cover attached to the top and this is a replacement so um, if you don't want to use the LED you can put that on there and get uh, better results for you. Uh, the manual and cleaning cloth are underneath the top foam. You have your pipette which is pretty standard for most uh, refractometers your screwdriver for calibrating and then you have the refractometer itself and this one's a little bit bigger than a lot of the other ones that I've seen as of late so it's it's good size it's gonna sit in the hand well and there's nothing under there so that's that's it so let's open this up and take a little look at what we got here all right so as you can see it's pretty different uh, compared to uh, other refractometers is pretty light in the hand. Um, it's got a good grip on it. So the idea behind this is that you can read your salinity or specific gravity, however you're measuring it, uh, in dark. You don't actually have to go looking for a light source at all. So let's say if it's nighttime and you're uh, doing some water changes or getting your trying to get your barrel like I have right here um, to the correct salinity you don't have a light on in the house or a light to hold up your refractometer to um, it has one right there installed which is pretty awesome so I got some calibration fluid right here and we're gonna go ahead and calibrate uh, this refractometer real quick and it's pretty easy to do we've shown this on other videos as well uh, as you take this little plastic guide off you're gonna open up your prism plastic cover that protects that and then you're just going to do a couple of dots of your calibration fluid and then you're going to go ahead and drop that plastic piece on there and then you're going to push on your LED and you're going to look into the eyepiece so it is a little bit off this here it's a little bit off so we're going to make some small adjustments then put it back up to the eye and see if it's on went the wrong way so on this model um, clockwise is going to drop the salinity level uh, counterclockwise is going to uh, increase the salinity level so um, right now it's giving me a reading of 30 parts per thousand and on the salinity and this is 35 part per thousand um, fluid so we're gonna go counterclockwise make some adjustments and see how that does for just a little bit more now we're spot on so now we can um, let's say you're mixing salt water like I am right here in this brute barrel um, you could take your pipe back grab some of it or have a little um, shot glass I use sometimes and then you're going to have a good reading. One thing that I would recommend is that between readings is 
washing this prism uh, with RO water so you don't get any false readings. Another thing that I recommend as well is um, your calibration fluid. I mean this stuff is pretty inexpensive. Uh, there's going to be a link to it in the description below and uh, don't be sparing with it. I prefer to calibrate my refractometer uh, very often uh, just about every other time and uh, that kind of just helps me ensure that I have accurate readings. So that is our look at the Premium Aquatics LED refractometer. If you guys have any questions go ahead and ask them in the comment section down below and if you want to check this product out there's going to be a link in the description. Uh, it's a pretty awesome product. I'm pretty impressed with the LED. It works very well and uh, if you guys want to check it out Check it out at premiumaquatics.com. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.